Hello, in this Visual Basic video, I am going to show you the tree view component. If you load up your toolbox, go to Common Controls, go to Tree View, let's just drag that on. So we get this little box right here. Let's just make it a little bigger. Uh, that's pretty cool. Let's run it, see what we get. So that's what we get. So nothing special. We click the play button and then click edit nodes. And then from what we can do here is add some nodes. So let's just you know, add a root. I will I'll put this text as root1. You'll see what all of this is doing very shortly. And you cannot add another root, add another child. So I'm going to add a root. And I'm going to call this root2. And I'm going to add one more root. And I'm going to call this root3. OK. So what I'm going to do is add two children to each root. So I'm going to just add two children. And then add a another child here. So I will leave it named as it is. Click OK. And now, if we were to run it, see what we get. So now we have essentially a nested bunch of values. And we, you know, we can click on one of them. This is really cool if you're providing the user with maybe some sort of menu system. So maybe if you click this. It shows you some set of information here. If you click this, it shows you only part of the information from root one. Then root two shows you another set of information. Node five and six just shows you part of the information from root two. And you know, you could use it for any sort of thing you want. You could use it for navigation if you wanted to. So in code, for example, if I were to just add a button, let's just add a nice little button right here. And if I double click that, so the click event. Okay, so in here, what we can do is we can the actual tree view that we have, you know, added, we can get what we, you know, are selecting from it. So what we can do is tree view one dot selected node. So if I do select a node dot two string and we'll do dim call it str as string put it all on one line that's fine and what we'll say is label actually I haven't added a label yet I forgot about that so if I add a simple label here and I'm gonna say label one dot text equals str now if we run it when we click the button it says tree node root one if i select root two it says tree node root two if i select node six it says tree node node six so this is fantastic so we can actually get which one selected based on that we can do something accordingly obviously what you want to do is totally dependent on your application but that's it for tree view obviously there's a whole heap of properties that you can modify you know from background color to you know all those typical ones you can add more values if you want to and you can check out the rest of the programmatic functions as well like so that's it for tree views if you have any questions feel free to reach out and i look forward to seeing you in the next programming tutorial